The busiest travel day of the year is today. That's true most years, but especially this one when there are more Americans since the start of the pandemic, March of 2020, who are expected to take to the skies again. Some people traveling for the first time in 18 months, but staffing has been way down. Jet fuel prices are way up. There's this huge influx of passengers. Are we going to be ready? Is America, is the world going to be ready for all of this this Thanksgiving week? Joining us right now is our friend Peter Greenberg, travel expert, live from Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. Can I ask why you're there? Because I don't want to be at O'Hare. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Very, very good answer and very discreet, Peter Greenberg. Okay, so we're finally here. Uh, are the airlines ready? I think that's the big question. Well, you just had a weather report that said not such a bad situation with weather. That's the intangible here. If the weather kicks in, the, the airlines are certainly not ready because airplanes are full. There's no plan B to put you on another flight if your flight is canceled. We still have staffing shortages. They're not back to full strength, either at the TSA, the airlines, or at the airport. So it's going to be, it's, it's a real touch and go situation for the next four days. You mentioned that there are more passengers, but there are not enough staff. And then if you threw weather into the mix, it would be a wrench. But my question is, are there fewer flights available? It seems to me that the we still have, you know, people flying, but we are not quite up to speed to pre-pandemic levels in terms of how many flights are available every day. Is that true? Well, actually, the flights have been reduced because of the meltdown we saw both at Southwest Airlines and American. So as a result, United has pulled out of 10 cities. Americans pulled out of nearly 27, mostly on the East Coast. So they've tried at this point to not get overstretched. Remember, they had a problem a couple of weeks ago where they had literally overscheduled their airline. They didn't have enough planes, didn't have enough pilots and staff to fly them. So this is sort of like operating as a double-edged sword because you have more people flying and now fewer flights available. All that planes are going to be full. We haven't even factored in the number of foreign visitors who started coming in on November right. 8th. And, and they're, they're now really filling up the planes as well. Yes, international a travel ban being lifted. Give us some tips on saving money on last minute tickets. I know I actually just uh, talked to the airlines yesterday trying to book my Christmas Day ticket because it was so expensive. So I'm trying to wiggle around with the times that I'm flying and the days that I'm flying. Uh, do you have advice? Yeah, you know, the old days it used to be you wanted to book your ticket one minute after midnight at, on a Tuesday night, so 12 or 1 a.m. Wednesday morning. Those days are gone. The best day to book a ticket right now, believe it or not, is Sunday night. Really? Use Sunday night as your, as your gauge to book the best number of, of the best deals you can get. And whatever you do, do not book a basic economy fare because that's the one ticket remaining that's a use it or lose it ticket. If you don't use it, you lose it. And you know, you're not going to get your money back. The next fare category up is only going to cost you about $30 per segment. That's your insurance guarantee that if your flight gets canceled or you need to change plans, you're not going to lose your money. All right, Peter Greenberg, thank you so much for being with us. Very, very good advice. Please stay safe in Saudi Arabia, okay? I will, the capital of Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.